Beautiful Monday morning, everyone. It's currently 48 degrees in Chicago. Let's get into it. See what the guides, the guides would like for the collective to be aware of today. Remember, only take what resonates and kick rocks to the rest. Let's go. Let's get into it. Okay, we've got spiritual bounty hunter coming out. A lot of uh, dark energies being run out of here, run off the planet. Here we've got nothing comes without sacrifice, except to those who sacrifice what they shouldn't. Yeah, we got a lot of people that sacrificed what they shouldn't have sacrificed, including you. And some of them are on the run. You're the spiritual bounty hunter. You carry the energy of someone that is not going to allow the arrogant to stand in your presence. Let's get another card. Whoa, Zers. Hancock Twin Flames in reverse energy. So we're, for some of you, we could be talking about a twin flame that has been operating against you, going in the opposite direction. This person, this energy sacrificed what they shouldn't have, and yet they still expected a return of you, a return of abundance. Here we've got, he works too much, spends too much money, not a good match. This person could be a Pisces, doesn't have to be. Somebody works too much and they spend way too much money further clarifying this, uh, or confirming rather, what, what's being sacrificed. Someone spends too much, they sacrifice what they shouldn't. Someone needs to be more careful with their money. Someone needs to seek out some advice when it comes to money matters. Let's get another card. Okay, AI generated photo. So there's some trickery when it comes to photography, photographs, videos. Not sure what this is about all the way. Could have to do with the state, Colorado. Let's get one more. So something about an AI generated photo that has to do with Colorado. Here we have smugglers. So something is being smuggled, something's being taken across state lines, something's being taken out of the country, <laughs> out of the country as I say that here's Sweden. So either something's coming into one country from another involving Sweden, this could be Colorado to Sweden, Sweden to Colorado. We're talking about smuggling, not sure which type of smuggling, uh, whatever it is. There's some sort of false documentation, AI generated photo. So this could even be ID. People are being smuggled into different regions using fake identification that's been AI generated. This could be some sort of smuggling ring that specializes in AI generated passports, maybe something like that. Let's just keep going. Why is spiritual bounty hunter here? Interesting energies. Okay, surprise is what's clarifying spiritual bounty hunter. So you could be having a lot of astral activity. Someone surprised to have seen you in the dream state. Here we've got chakras. It's got to do with chakras. Somebody tried to manipulate your chakras in the, the dream state. They didn't know what they were trying to sacrifice. And there's backlash here. Someone's undergoing some serious backlash when it comes to chakra manipulation of spiritual bounty hunter energy. Hancock twin flame in reverse. Priest landing sideways so someone could be born in the year 1971 or 71 years old priest and at the bottom we've got mentally and emotionally unstable so there's someone that feels like they have some sort of uh authority over you some moral uh high ground even this could be a literal priest this could be a dark priest, hierophant energy. We'll get more intel. Why is AI generated photo here? Okay, this is landing on priest, sweetheart. So some of you've got this twin flame energy, 
that's really focused on you right now. They see you as a sweetheart. They sacrificed you or tried to sacrifice you. You surprise this person unbothered. They, you continue to surprise them because you are carrying on, however that might be in your life. And whatever this is, you're not giving it too much attention until it shows up in the dream state. Why is AI generated photo here? There's a sweetheart that's, so someone could have generated a photo of you and used it on some sort of false identification. AI generated photos. Okay, this is landing under, under smugglers and it's ascending that landed face down. We did see the chakra card in the deck. So this is something about these dark forces that are being run off the planet, they're trying to, to smuggle or suffocate your chakra system, hijack it some kind of way, and or these are literal smugglers that are not ascending. They're of no use. Someone's very obsessed with your energy. Could be this twin flame that goes in the opposite direction of you, hence why this ascending is not landing face up. So this twin flame in reverse could be a part of some sort of smuggling enterprise that looks legit on the surface. Something looks legit on the surface. AI generated photo. Animosity is in the reverse landing on ascending smuggler. And now we've got the evil eye. So there's somebody that sees you as a sweetheart. They may or may not have any animosity toward you, but because of this evil eye that's following animosity in the reverse, I feel like this is someone that, that doesn't have a lot of regret when it comes to whatever it is they've done toward you. They might not hate you anymore, but they certainly aren't apologetic for whatever they may have put you through, tried to sacrifice you, tried to uh, maybe even set you up for a crime of some sort. Let's try this again. I'm not getting anything hitting on AI generated photos. So let's see. Someone could have tried to generate some false documentation using your image and they got caught. The divine intervened. Rich guy here. Hmm. So this could be some sort of catfish type of situation. Also, some of you got a twin flame that is, is just not on the up and up and they're trying to connect with you maybe online. They're using some sort of false identity under the guise of being a rich guy. Maybe they feel like you'll be attracted to, to money. Someone thinks that they can get your attention through money. Or this is something that's on the macro level. There's some rich guy, but they're they're not like a real person. They're AI generated. They're a creation. Someone's in a lot of emotional pain. This is followed by bliss. Someone's very unhappy to see you in a, a good space, a better place. Let's get another round. Surprise, why is this surprise? Okay, this is landing under priest face down divination. Yeah, somebody's up to some no good as usual. <laughs> but their, their magic isn't working with this priest and divination landing face down. Whatever this is, it's not working. Someone could be born in the year 70. So we've got 71 and 70. 717. Karma. This is number 100. So there is something that is has drastically switched when it comes to a twin flame connection. Let's try this again. Surprise. Someone's surprised that they can't get you. Surprised that their magic doesn't work. Maybe this twin here went to someone that they thought or they were guided to as some sort of uh, authority in a dark practices, divination face down, but whatever magic this person promised to be able to, to throw at you, it didn't hit, it didn't strike, something about a strike. 
Someone could be going on strike. Why surprise here? Someone feels like you've gone on strike from this connection that you were supposed to tolerate whatever it was that they sacrificed that they shouldn't have. Someone feels like you should be more tolerant. Show more tolerance. Surprise. Jezebel. It's clarifying surprise and spiritual bounty hunter. So you've surprised some sort of Jezebel spirit in their sleep. They weren't expecting you. Ooh, nice guy here. He's been showing up. Single, sexy, successful, following nice guy, followed by health concern and thief. Divine masculine pathway. Someone's very concerned about you going to this next level with a divine partner divine masculine energy or there's a divine masculine that's been hijacked by some De jezebel spirit that's connected to this priest here let's see why sweetheart is here oh yeah see false narrative and community so in some cases this is this has to do with the twin flame community and a false narrative that's been created by this priest energy here. So this priest and Jezebel could be working together against the Twin Flame Collective. Somebody's fraudulent for sure. They're creating false narratives about you. You are the true, real deal, divine energy highly vibrational and someone's trying to create a false narrative about you they're trying to say that you've created a false narrative about some sort of uh, divine connection they could be using ai generated photos to uh, stir up a false narrative so yeah this false narrative is going with this ai generated photo there could either be a rich guy that's being targeted or this rich guy is targeting the sweetheart here something like that it can go either way so let's yeah look star seed at the bottom you're just too high vibrational for whatever this is to touch you it's a bad idea rich guy change is what's clarifying rich guy and then we've got entity attachment oh my goodness so there's some rich guy that's in a bit of trouble they they could feel that they have an entity attachment there's a rich guy energy that feels as if a jezebel has attached some sort of entity to them they could have gone to this priest energy here not knowing that this priest and this jezebel work together so this could be witch warlock energy, Bonnie Clyde energy. There's some people working together and they're doing it underground in the background. People don't know that these two are connected here. This is, this is turning out to be shadier than yesterday's second reading. What the heck is this? Change, rich guy, into the attachment. I'm going to keep going. Ascending, well... Face down, self love. So these smuggler energies here, they've got they got no love for nothing. Okay, they don't feel with this animosity in the reverse. The smuggling, the smuggler, smuggle, smuggler. Something's up. I gotta figure it out. Animosity in the reverse. Whoa, moving on, sideways over self love. Someone can't help themselves. Someone feels that they're under some sort of love spell. Here we got priestess following love spell into the attachment again. So they're attacking a divine being, a sweetheart, by uh, creating some false narrative using AI-generated photographs. Could even be websites. Something is, is not right here. Someone's getting set up or someone is an actual smuggler. But they're saying it wasn't me. I didn't know what I was doing. I was drugged. I was under the influence of an entity attachment. So somebody's 
not taking accountability for something. Let's get this other deck here and do another round. Ace of Swords is at the bottom. So you're getting down to the truth of a situation, or you have. You're very clear about whatever this is. You're aware that someone has been really trying to get at you, sabotage, smuggle your uh, chakra system, your upper chakras, your third eye. Jezebel, surprise, spiritual bounty hunter. This Jezebel got paid a visit. They weren't expecting you. Somebody got paid a visit and they weren't expecting this. Jezebel, surprise. Someone's found out that they're dealing with a Jezebel spirit. They've been taken by surprise or they're at least going to claim that that's the case. Someone is saying they didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Page of Pentacles sideways landing on false narrative. And then we've got six of wands following is two of wands and then this knight of pentacles so something about money see but this person look is sneaky right here with the one eye closed so this is some sort of um uh you know when they do hand signals and things like that this is some sort of a cult cult type of energy passion yeah this is, this is, okay, this is Seven of Swords landing on change sideways, and then we got secrets. So yeah, there is somebody that's working to change a narrative about you from, they want to take you from being this sweetheart into being this Jezebel. Someone wants you to be seen as a Jezebel, high priestess, dark high priestess energy, and there's some sort of active sort of campaign, if you will, to try to make this happen, discredit you, ruin your reputation. Someone's angry that you're not paying them any attention. Let's try this again. Jezebel. Something's being unearthed. Okay, Knight of Swords, Justice, and the Sun. The sun landed face down, so this Jezebel energy could be on the run, running from justice, knowing that their days are numbered. They've been found out. This is a smuggler here, some sort of trafficker. Ace of Cups. This could even be some kind of matchmaker type of energy that's well known. They, are, they matchmake, but they matchmake with people that have been imported from other places against their will <sighs> okay so we kind of know what's going on with this jezebel they're on the run they can't evade justice someone could be getting served with a warrant wise priest here priest this is landing on sweetheart, death, face down. Then we got four of swords. So following four of swords is ace of cups, queen of cups, king of cups, the vampire. Yeah. For some of you, you have a new connection coming in and either someone is trying to distort that image or that distort that timeline or this king of cups is this vampire yeah because then we got knight of wands and seven of wands followed by the hierophant so there could already be a queen of cups and a king of cups that are together that do these sort of love spells something is just not on the up and up here but i mean four of swords getting some rest we could just say Ace of Cups, love, self-love, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Everything looks good until you get to this damn vampire, which is followed by this Knight of Wands, that sultry energy. And then this is your energy, the Seven of Wands, defending yourself. We got the Hierophant here. We already got the Priest out. So there's some. Uh, and then Ace of Coin, Hangman. 
So there is some King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy that could already be out on the table with this Jezebel and this priest here. But they're masquerading as something else in the public. Death is face down on sweetheart. Someone refuses to let you go. They want to ruin you by any means necessary. They have no feeling. Someone's not able to feel anymore. Maybe this is you. You don't feel this connection anymore. You don't feel attached to this energy anymore. Huh. So whatever this Jezebel is running from is still not known all the way. Something's still not all the way out because the sun landed face down. Let's keep going. Higher, no, priest. Priest. Oh, come on. Two of swords is clarifying priest. And king of wands is at the bottom. So there's been some action. Oh, wow. The empress. So there's a king of wands protecting an empress. Four of pentacles, the hermit, page of cups, five of wands, the chariot, the world, social media, five of coins. So there's an empress that's being protected by a king of wands, being protected from this priest. There's a priest energy here that has to, uh, doesn't know how to get out of something. Divination. Someone's not a priest. They're masquerading as a priest. They're being seen as a sweetheart. Uh, let's see. Let's get another card for sweetheart. King of Pentacles and Four of Cups. So there's a King of Pentacles keeping their eye on a sweetheart energy. Four of Cups is here. Not satisfied with what they currently have. They want you. Change. Rich guy. Could be this King of Pentacles here. This is some catfishy type of thing too. We saw social media, but it didn't come out. You could be in your King of Pentacles energy. Sweetheart energy. Dissatisfied. Something, some sort of community. Let's get a card for community. What is this community about? A community of liars with the false narrative. Eight of Pentacles. So it could be a work situation. Someone's definitely dealing with a false person who's turning out to be more false than what they initially thought. There's a bunch of lies here. Eight of Pentacles. Community. Five, false narrative. I almost said five. Nine of Pentacles, you've trust trash box the star. So whatever this is, you've completely disconnected from it. The emperor is followed by six of cups. So you are dealing with a past energy in some cases, or this could be a family of witches, a family of warlocks. Hmm. We'll keep going. Why is change here with rich guy? Divine partner. King of swords. Ten of wands. And the moon. Yeah, this energy shown up before. For some of you, you've got a divine partner that might... Uh, they're trying to change their image. Maybe you come in contact with this person before the, they could be this rich guy could be this king of swords there's something hidden there's ten of wands here this divine partner is not giving up on you but they know there's something they have to change they've got to get on the ascension path hmm. this this rich guy divine partner energy is having a hard time Changing their image. This could be an attorney also. The moon. Water. Secrets. 
could also be divine feminine energy. Ten of Wands. What's at the bottom? The star. So there's your energy. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's been talking a bunch of trash about you, how you live your life, the decisions that you make. This trash box is this false narrative here. The fool followed by Eight of Cups, Three of Wands. Someone thought you were a fool for leaving a situation, but you made the best choice. Some of you could have already worked with this rich guy, King of Swords energy before, and, and you decided to leave. You don't want to work with this person anymore. Uh-oh, here comes Zori, and I got to grab him before he does anything crazy in my room. I'm going to pause this video for a second. All right, I'm back. That cat, he be causing some drama. So we got this King of Swords could be this rich guy that's a divine partner to you. Whether you're male or female, it's just the energy for the most part. Um, Seven of Pentacles, somebody wants to invest in you. Up in the clouds, the most high, divine guidance, ascension. Yeah, see, so you've deactivated from some twin flame energy that's always functioned opposite of you. And now you're connecting with this divine partner, but they're not yet on the ascension path. They're trying to get there. They're just not sure how to do it. So there's a lot of programming that this divine partner has to undo. They could have recently gotten separated from a, a marriage or div yeah, divorce or something because this Ten of Cups is followed by this Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Passion, Nine of Swords, Emotional Manipulation, Temperance, High Priestess. So whoever, whoever this might be to you, this divine partner, you may or may not know them. They have... They're similar to this twin flame energy that's in the reverse in that they've got the same sort of uh, king of wands, lothario type of, of energy going on. And this divine partner want, is wanting to change, but they don't know how. And they also are caught up in a lot of drama that could involve some sort of workplace affair. Okay, that's for some, does, don't take it if it doesn't resonate, but we got two different energies. This twin flame in reverse is not this divine partner. These are separate energies. This king of pentacles, however, could be this rich guy here. And then we got this king of swords here. So these two energies, they kind of, they are very, very similar. And this has come up in readings before, so... Let's just keep going. Whatever it is, you continue to move on and someone doesn't want you to, uh, someone doesn't even want you to be single. If you're single, they don't want you to be single for too much longer because they feel like you're just not going to be open to any sort of relationship. Whoever this is, they are observing you some kind of way. And so is this Jezebel. And it's this twin flame in reverse that's connecting with this priest, dark, coven, whatever. Could even be family. Some sort of warlock, vampire family. Whatever it is, they do they do us, uh, they do signs, they make hand motions. Mm. Okay, self-love, moving on. Whoa. All right, Two of Wands is landing on Page of Pentacles sideways and the Moon. And then here we've got Knight of Pentacles moving on King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Six of Swords, Ace of Wands. The, pff, aces. Pff. Okay, this Divine Partner wants, wants it all with you. We're going to stop at this Ten of Swords. It's going to take them a minute to get to you. That's for sure. With this Knight of Pentacles that's landing on this moving on. Um, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. 
Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Six of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles. So somebody definitely wants, wants it all with you. We got Hidden Enemy showing up too. Someone thought they had it all until they met you, something like that. But then we still got this smuggler situation. I feel like that is that is a macro energy coming through. So King of Cups. So someone is feeling a certain kind of way when it comes to your energy. Let's, uh, I kind of want to distinguish between this King of Pentacles, this rich guy, and this priest, and this King of Swords. So let's just see what's going on with this So priest here. Actually, I think this might be a better deck. Kipper. Yeah. Priest. Lovers. Privileged lady is clarifying priest. I feel like this is still, so this priest is connected to this Jezebel energy. That's what it feels like. Thoughts is in the reverse. Gift, unexpected income. Okay, so this priest is connected to the Jezebel energy. Why is this king of pentacles here? Message of concern sideways. Rich guy. This is landing on King of Swords. Poverty. So someone's concerned. This rich guy is concerned about their money. Rich guy. Concern again on moving on. And then we've got <laughs> courtship in the reverse. <sighs> Marriage. So, I mean, occupation, main male, distant horizon, toil and labor, despair. Thief is in the reverse. <sighs> Goodness. I mean, it still could be one person just the way this privileged lady lovers is what's clarifying priest. But I do feel like this is connected to this Jezebel. I feel like this privileged lady is this Jezebel. However, you can take this and go to this rich guy, King of Swords energy. These could be this, these, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the rich guy could all be the same energy. Whatever the case is, courtship is in the reverse. Whatever sort of contract relationship this is that you might have had with any of these individuals, if it's no matter if it's one or, or more, it's, it's disconnected. Someone does want to connect with you, this divine partner. There's concern. It has to do with money. And I feel like this money is tied up to whatever marriage this might be or is on the way of not being anymore. And there's some sort of monetary settlement. But there is another energy in the background in the form of some sort of lover that is, is tying things up. Something like that. Let's try this again. King of Swords. Yeah, because there's a marriage here. There's a marriage here. King of Swords. Father, Liberator, Visionary, face down. So yeah, you've definitely, and then the Visionary landed on this. He works too much and spends too much money. Not a good match. Heavily redacted. So there is, some, there is a father figure, masculine type of energy here that is going through a lot of drama. There's this twin flame energy, Jezebel warlock energy that is still clinging on to the idea of trying to destroy you. However, you elevate it to this next frequency that they can't even identify. So there's something about your chakra system that's now connected to a much higher vibration that can't be identified and so it's making these uh, attacks against you just kind of void they keep hitting the void something like that 
let's just, uh, you freed yourself from this situation and this divine partner who could be, I don't know, rich guy, lawyers, king of swords, whatever, they got issues. Liberator, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. That's what you're doing for someone or many people. You are a visionary. Huh. All right, lover, again. Somebody, yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. Don Juan, lover, poet. This this rich guy, king of swords, energy, that could also be this king of pentacles. Whatever it is, this divine partner, it's they got they got uh, their work cut out for them in terms of any sort of spiritual uh, upgrades, we'll just say. <laughs> Something like that. I can't make any more of it. It's just, it's what it is. It's, it's, con it's a convoluted somewhat energy. It's difficult to read. Okay. Let's see what else comes out. Wozers. Okay. So let's get a card for this divine partner. Witness protection program, border control, high mercury levels. We've seen something with the witness protection program before when it comes to divine partners. So somebody could, uh, could be in the witness protection program. There's something about high mercury levels. This card came out yesterday. And it was connected to Antarctica. Antarctica has high mercury levels. This is something else. This border control, I feel like, is something that is guarding these divine partnerships. Witness protection program. Somebody could be in a witness protection program. Border control. This could have to do with the smuggler energy here. Let's get a card for smugglers. Chicago. So we got Chicago coming out. Someone's in Chicago. Someone's in the in a witness pr protection program. Could have been targeted by smugglers. Someone could work for border control, but this feels more like Seven of Wands energy. Also with this witness protection program, you're being protected. Let's see what else comes out. Pilot school. Okay. This is this divine partner right there. They're under heavy uh, protection because they're going through an ascension, but they haven't, like, they're not, they haven't taken off yet. They're still in, in pilot school. Somebody could be going to pilot school or this person has some sort of aviation kind of background. This is a wonky ass reading now. <laughs> Let me just get one more card. But this pilot school, this feels like angel school. Like a new soul. This divine partnership is very, this is something brand new for this energy when it comes to spirituality. And they're trying to get their bearings and they're under protection. You're under protection. Someone has gotten caught up with some situation involving smugglers border control and so they so this could also be witness um whistleblower so there's a whistleblower here that could have had to be moved out of chicago or they're hiding in chicago oh anything else music festival in the reverse landing on tennis sword so something about the music industry there's a festival that's been canceled chemtrails aircraft so with chemtrails aircraft and pilot school then you'll likely be seeing a lot of skyline activity we'll just say because when these two show up that's what happens i start to see a lot of uh, lines being drawn in the sky Whew. okay i think that's kind of it anything else 
squatter. Mark for deletion. Yeah, there is a whole ass, um, this twin flame, this twin flame in reverse energy is desperate right now to come at you because the minute you connect with this divine partner, their, their whole um, simulation or whatever you want to call it is going to be deleted, literally. And then we got Indiana. So something going on with Indiana, Chicago, Sweden. And then we've got this artificial intelligence energy harvesting. So yeah, this is, this is what you're being protected from. This energy harvesting, this artificial intelligence. We already got AI generated photo here. So somebody's working with a photo of you that's been generated. It's false. Then we got this crooked cop. This could be the person that is in some sort of witness protection program, confiscated and illegal transfers. So there's a bunch of money that's been moved around. It's got to do with smuggling, the border, things coming through the border. People are getting rounded up left and right. And yeah, so this is this Mercury. This is like war energy and it's reached another level, a higher level. Yeah, that's all I can make of this. Really, it's kind of a, a spinoff from yesterday's second reading, but there's more here. It's it's literally this twin flame in reverse narrative is is about to be deleted. It just is. It's been marked for deletion in the algorithm. It's just what it is. Woo! And that's why they're coming at you so hard. Desperate. Crop circles messages curiosity sign so again this feels like what's in the sky this is this divine partner that has been activated they can't make head or tails of your energy they're very confused on top of being in a lot of drama that could involve the workplace and a marriage that is being um, divided up or something like that Kabbalah tree of life, integration, life lessons, emanation. And then we've got Acturians, feeling safe, wisdom keepers, and concern. So here's that border control energy. You're in a bubble. You're being protected. Witness protection, spiritual witness protection program with the spiritual bounty hunter. You could have been assigned a new spiritual bounty hunter, some sort of guardian that's not playing when it comes to you because the attacks are... are kicking up a notch because of the desperation. These uh, these energies, these energy harvesters, they don't want to be marked for deletion. They know they've been marked for deletion, put it like that. So they're fighting it. Final messages for the collective. Career transition, clear audience. So for some of you, you continue to move on, move forward. You could be uh, moving into a new career and... You have indeed triggered the life purpose of this divine partnership here, Archangel Chamuel. So that's what's going on. It's very confusing. Whoever this divine partner might be to you, they're very confused. Very confused. Clear audience, clear cognizance. So they could even be starting to have some activation with their clairs. I feel like whatever this is, whoever this might be, well, for many of you, your ascension pretty much started from, from birth, whereas this person, they've kind of been a part of the matrix programming for a long time. And whatever this is, when it comes to you, it's a, it's a literal shock to their system. So you are shocking this divine partner system, elevating it but they still got to do the groundwork and they're a newbie, it looks like. They're a newbie to this, to this situation, this operation. Okay, so that's what I have, Collective. I'll see you guys soon in another video.